Hello and welcome in the second part of the tutorial about the real flow in the Cinema 4D and we're gonna go through today um, different type of fluids and uh, basically setting of the fluid so uh, stay with me and uh, check it out Let's begin We're here in the Cinema 4D we're gonna go directly to real flow, emitters and circle and we're gonna just uh, leave it emitters for now and uh, in the demos we're gonna just focus on the fluid this one actually which is uh, linked here in the tree uh, so basically what we can uh, what you can explain very fast what is here here basic stuff nothing to explain coordination nothing to explain fluid which is we know jump in the second this is particle and this is uh, the first setting we can uh, just manipulate and here it says it's a child object so basically what we need uh, to create to to see this working when you push play it's uh, like you see emitter is working we need a child object and uh, we're gonna just uh, put the cube instead of here and we're just gonna scale it down so it's small and uh, fluid we're gonna just push play and as you see when the cube is a child of fluid it's emitting the um, the size so we're gonna put uh, like this maybe the cube is too big it's uh, maybe five 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 and we just go through it then we see the um, it's not like clones but it's a instances of the density of the uh, our emitter so basically what we can do here the child objects uh, it works when you got this uh, link here you can of course put the two childs or whatever and then uh, render only that mean uh, here in the viewport it's gonna be particles but when you render you got the cubes uh, another thing it just uh, you push the position randomly and this value works really big so if I do 10 it's already many 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 of cubes going like a little bit spread out if you take more it's like a snow directly you can like this uh, get the really cool snow effect and that's a um, random rotation and this is what we're gonna see it's actually when we get closer random rotation like you see it's a big rotation a scale random it's a bigger or small symbol is that here also uh, we can create the thinking particles okay so this one will go right directly only when we check uh, this one uh, thinking particles this changing for the thinking the thinking particles and we can uh, through the uh, thinking particle system in the cinema 4d we can uh, manipulate this uh, behave of the fluid through the uh, particle uh, thinking particles so it's quite complicated but we're not gonna go through this right now so basically what the what the uh, here the particles what it does uh, remember you have to be linked here and then we got the display and the uh, display it's uh, actually we have to just uh, turn off the particles and the display here is visible not visible percentage how many percent of the particles needs to be seen size of the particles we can see it like this or we can see like very small ones normally two three or five it's uh, pretty good to see uh, the behavior of the fluid or the emitter uh, let's let's leave it at two property this is speed uh, we can get the velocity x y and uh, z automatic range and when we're gonna check this it's gonna go uh, uh, it's a, a gap between each particles and actually minimum range is gonna be displayed it's it's nothing for the size it's just for the display on the viewport and minimum range if uh, if the particle is gonna be smaller than this it's gonna get the blue color and it's gonna be bigger than this it's gonna get the the, the white color which is this one this color this uh, gradient it's representing the speed so this is the slowest particle black and the white this is the fastest particle okay so if we're gonna get the um, emitter of let's say like uh, 500 speed then we're gonna see the particles are very very bright here okay if we go automatically you see uh, the particles are, are faster changing the colors okay very fast slower faster is, is like this uh, depends of of this size so this is what the uh, what you do here we can uh, put the 200 that's a uh, normal speed so uh, we in this tab display visible of course and uh, basically you you don't change so much here sometimes size of the particle and now we're gonna jump to the to the fluids 
and um, this is uh, only I'm gonna go type of fluids and what what you can do with this. I'm not gonna jump uh, every here settings because uh, this maybe we can leave it for the another tutorial for each one. But um, you can create different kind, uh, types of, of liquid. And first in the list is damp. And uh, damp particles you can use it for foam. You can uh, use it um, for spray. You can uh, use it for for stuff like really light. But basically, not so many people using it. But uh, this dump is also done, got no reaction, and it works uh, calculating on CPU. Okay, so it's pretty fast, but it's not so useful so much. Okay, so the second one, it's uh, liquid SPH. And uh, liquid SPH is a very accurate liquid uh, for the fast uh, calculation, pretty, pretty much. But it's more like accurate. So... Uh, of course, it depends on uh, resolution and density, but uh, it's a liquid which is going very fast, like water, like uh, stuff like this, uh, kind of accurate. Okay, uh, next one, PBD. This is uh, actually for very fast liquids, and that's mean uh, something like I said before, it's uh, SPH here, uh, but SPH is, is a little bit different than, than the water, right? It's uh, if you want to create water, use PBD instead of uh, SPH. So PBD is the is a very fast uh, liquid. The PB uh, SPH is very accurate. Okay, so these are two different things. And then it's a new one, of course, in the granular. And what you can do, it's a uh, kind of like sandy stuff and um, and snow. So it's mostly for like uh, stuff like this, viscous. Is going uh, basically for the for the caramel, yogurt, oil, some like kind of thick um, substance like maybe honey, like all this stuff. And the uh, uh, viscoelastic is going for like uh, rubble, silicone, like all all the stretchy stuff which is uh, behave in very very more uh, like elastic. Right? But this is a uh, kind of a very bigger viscoelastic so it's like uh, viscosity and the uh, elastic okay and uh, all of those it's calculated by uh, GPU so basically what well, you don't have to worry only uh, in each of those actually it's uh, pretty important resolution and density resolution is the amount of the particles so uh, and this is not two it's just like uh, something uh, per inch or per square or per, per meter but uh, it's going like uh, the numbers going pretty. We're not jumping here to 200. We just uh, skip the numbers like a very small amount, 5, 20, like all this. So this is the 5, this is the 20, and this is amount of the particles. Of course, it's more amount of the particles. It's better uh, uh, resolution and better effect. But also this has to be uh, affect with uh, minimum substeps and and uh, maximum substeps. So this is the resolution and density uh, is actually density and uh, here is the small numbers which is uh, you, you go up like small here you can go by thousand okay so basically it's like if you get to two thousand that's a bigger density of the of our mesh oh, no, no, not, not mesh sorry, particles and it's uh, you can create like really really uh, thick materials here okay so basically so this is this is what kind of uh, liquids what you can do with it and of course it's it depends on many different uh, uh, stuff but links here also works uh, when you collide with the objects and uh, rest it's uh, self-explanatory so that was the <clears throat> second part in the real flow uh, tutorial for cinema 4d and uh, i explained to you which uh, types of uh, liquids you can create using a uh, different type of fluid okay and basically like we put this emitter emitter is linked to the fluid and of course uh, we can get two fluids two emitters but i'm going to show this uh, in the next part so this is what this fluids different emitters looks like and uh, it depends what you want to create then you're choosing the right one to yourself and the rest it's uh, it's going to come with the manipulation with uh, emitters and uh, demons and all this stuff but that's going to come in the next um, upcoming lesson so i want to say thank you for for now and i see you in the part uh, three peace